Welcome, everyone, to our first Let's Play. I cannot believe that this is our first Let's Play. Can you? I cannot believe it. At all. Yeah. At all? At all? No. no. It, it seems like all. it's been a long time coming, but you know what? This is like the 19th take of this first intro video, so you know what? It's okay. We're, we're not going to screw this up this time. We're going to make sure it looks good. All right. This, well, is a, this is a good start. It is a good start. This is a great start. It's a good start, you know? I feel like we should have started by introducing ourselves. Maybe well, we did. No. Maybe. We, we haven't yet on this one, and we're going to right now, right. and we're going to keep this one, okay. because this is hilarious. I'm Cheese it Chubby Cheese it get it right, and this is... This is just Gray Fox. And we are the three heart runners. There we are. And right now, we are creating our character, and the reason why I said Cheese it earlier was because this stupid screen never lets me name my character Chubby Cheese it It's always too many letters. But the great thing about this wonderful let's create a character screen is you can make him the craziest colors you can possibly imagine and today we are going with white huh what kind of cheese is white there is no cheese that's white wait hold on yes there is it's blue cheese well, why would why would blue cheese be blue exactly uh, white? it's got veins it's got blue veins it's man. got blue veins is it a living bean it might be it might be huh. i did know a couple of people that tried to name a dragon stilton one time this is cool I, I will know. say, though, if, if blue cheese is a living being, somebody should try to find out how to hybrid it with chickens, because I feel like if you could have chicken wings with blue cheese already mixed in, that would be good. Oh, man, that would be excellent. Has anybody ever thought of just feeding chickens blue cheese? No. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll find this out in a few seconds, but right. right now, just enjoy the cutscene. King Aland the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurber the Wanderer. The sixth saint Astraea and her knight Garo Vinland. And sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave?
brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. That was a great cutscene, wouldn't you agree with me, Casey? Oh, I'm waking up. I yeah, swear. I bet you were. Is it just me, or did the old one looking look like a giant gaping butthole? He did. Just, he did. That's always been my impression. Just, oh, he's, he kind of is a butthole. I mean, unleashing this horrible, horrible fog around this entire wonderful kingdom, unleashing just this horde of evil So you're saying there's a minions. giant butthole-looking monster releasing toxic gas that is turning people into undead hordes? Yeah, that's that's I think that's pretty much the gist of what, I, what I'm trying to say. Well, so, sounds like a pretty creative game. Almost nice. It's a very creative game. In fact, let's get down to the creativity. Actually, let's do. The class I've selected for you guys to wonderfully enjoy oh. is my favorite class in the game is the Wanderer. There are several wonderful classes to choose, but the type of build that I'm actually doing today, I needed to use the Wanderer to begin with. First of all. First of all, he starts out with a really, really cool weapon at the very beginning, which I can which I can upgrade, and it works it works out very well in the first level. And also, he starts out with high dexterity. Um, the reason why this is important is because I'm going after two specific weapons in this game that I will be using for the majority of the, for the majority of the game. The first one is the one I'm going to be going after at the very beginning of the game. is called the Blue Blood Sword. Um, you have to have 18 magic, 18 faith, 18 dexterity and 18th strength to use it and the more of those you start out with the easier it is to acquire this weapon makes sense makes sense and also um for towards the end of the game the actual last boss um i use the hitless on him and that is a that is a uh a sword that um works really well with high dexterity um in fact it's got an s rating um when you upgrade it a little bit using Colorless Demon Soul. Um, I also like Dexterity because you can take a lot of hits, which is interesting with this character because he wears cloth armor at the very beginning. Um, he takes a lot of wax, and it's really, really nice to have a lot of that hit recovery and be able to take a lot of damage at the very beginning of this game, especially because the boss of this game is actually quite difficult to beat, and we will be defeating him here rather shortly. I'm pretty confident. Well, I'm always confident in this game. Although, I have to say, Let's Play Curse is true. Because this is one of the sloppiest runs that I've actually had of this game in quite a while. I can attest to that. I've seen you play this game pretty much every day for the last day. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have actually been asking, but just Casey, actually, I shouldn't say a lot of people. I like to think of myself as a lot of people. No. Casey, you were definitely a lot of people all rolled into one, and we'll get into stories about that much later into this Let's Play. Um, why I chose this game over Demon Souls, or Dark Souls, excuse me. Um, well, first of all, I'm a lot more comfortable playing this game. I'm a lot better at this game, because Dark Souls is harder, but I actually think this game is a lot more memorable. Um, and I think that the bosses in this game are actually quite a bit more difficult, quite a bit more memorable themselves. Um... Plus, since this is our first Let's Play, I might as well play a game that I am really quite familiar with. Um, instead of something that I still quite haven't been through just yet. And guess what, guys? We are going to be facing the first boss here very shortly. And I've got a trick or two up my sleeve with this guy. Um, if you play as um, some of the magic-using characters or someone who has a bow, this boss is actually rather easy to do, but going head-to-head -head with them, usually for new players, is not a wise choice. But, as you will see here in a second, I've got a nice little strategy. He always holds his axe in his right arm, and if you move under his right arm and attack him there, he can't hit you with any of the attacks that he throws at you, because his sword swings too high. And you just you just don't get hit. So just run to this uh, to your left, his right, and dodge to the left always. 
one of the unique things about the Wander class it actually is, is because he has such high dexterity, he can actually take a hit from this boss one time, which is another reason why I fixed his clap, just in case I actually screwed up this fight. But I don't even take a hit on this fight. And as you can see, the way I'm moving around, the way I stand, every little thing that he does, he just cannot hit me. It's crazy. The only attack that actually could possibly hit me is when he flies up, but it's so slow, he just flies up, slams down, you back up, and then you charge in, and you can get a couple of good hits on him. Now I consider myself to be quite the gamer. I have one serious game related question to ask. Has this man not heard my voice? Because I feel like he's been sitting in this room for so long that he's just let himself go. And now he's dead, but you know what? Well, he probably, you know, I'd hate to say it, but since this fog has moved in, probably had a pretty good life. I mean, look how fat he is. Right? It, it doesn't look like he's really struggling for food. Well, that's the thing. They just walk in. And as the intro video showed, the adventurers just want to come into this place for some reason. So they just walk in, he slashes them one time, and eats them. Yeah. Sounds like a good life to me. I see ghosts running around everywhere, dead bodies on the floor. You know? But here's the thing. There's dead bodies all over the floors here, right? Why doesn't he eat them? How is he so fat if he's not eating these dead bodies? Maybe he's just conserving. I mean, well, what happens if, you know, the bodies of these, uh, wonderful explorers, you know, run out? That's a good point. So where are we now? We are now in some crazy lair, going up against the scariest looking dude ever in this game, the Dragon God. And we are not quite capable of fighting this guy, really? unfortunately. I think we should just charge in there. Well, we're going to. I mean, you know the way I am. Aggressive to my name. So, yeah. let's go kick his ass. Now this is your reward for beating the first boss, besides a demon soul that you can consume or use, is you actually get a couple of souls and a couple of rocks so you can upgrade your weapon immediately at the beginning of the first level. But unfortunately, I was just too stupid for this. I don't like dying in this game. We are dead. We've only been at this game for what, 12, 12 minutes? But I'm already dead. I'm already dead. It's not fair. This is like the second level, man. I like run through the whole beginning of the game, kicking ass, blah, 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 and then I just die. Yeah. Well, we got another cutscene for you to watch, so we'll see you on the other side. Well, I've got a couple of things that I'm probably going to need to say anyways, because we're going to be coming into the Nexus rather shortly. There's going to be a short cutscene that's going to be in there, and I'm going to just explain this really quick right now. I'm not going to be wasting a lot of time inside the Nexus, or at least showing you the time that I waste, because I'm very quick with this game. I was trying to play it quickly. Um, you'll, um, after the first level, I will show you one time um, with me upgrading stuff, upgrading my character, maybe even upgrading some weapons and whatnot. After that, it pretty much just ends with that, and all you'll see is gameplay. Um, the Nexus just kind of breaks away from everything. It can be kind of a little bit of an issue, I guess. But we really want to just show the gameplay of this game, because that's what this game is. It's not a good story game. It's not a good just run around, da la 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 It is a game about amazing gameplay, and that's why I like it so much. So, welcome to the Nexus, and you will be seeing this lady with pancakes on her eyes quite a bit as we fall down from pain, or whatever. I don't know what it feels like to come back to life. That'd be kind of an interesting feeling. I think it'd be quite interesting. Maybe we should do that sometime. I'll have to ask my buddy over here sometime, and maybe we'll just try to figure that out. But anyways, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on Demon Souls. This is the Three Heart Runners out.